Hello folks, I was going to make a, a short little video on uh, seeing magnetism. Now, obviously, a magnet does not emit light. However, as discovered uh, by um, Faraday, the Faraday effect, all light is shifted by magnetism. Now, uh, I discovered uh, the direction of the phase shift in magnetism. Uh, it's actually a ratio of 1 to 5. Um, north pole shift is uh, shifted toward the red end of the spectrum and uh, south pole shift is towards the uh, blue end of the spectrum. Um, now animals uh, navigate not only uh, by magnetic particles in their brains but also by uh, a cellular uh, tissue in the back of the retinas called cryptochromes. Now, it's long assumed that humans didn't have those, but they do. I do. This is a gigantic, dangerous beast. This is a huge $800 neodymium iron boron, just a powerful honking monster that looks innocent enough but will actually hurt you very easily. If you get another magnet caught between it and your fingers, it will take your finger off. Um, but I do an enormous amount of experimentation uh, for my book, uh, Uncovering the Missing Secrets of Magnetism. And actually, after stooping over this, now you can actually see this on a Gauss meter. The centrifugal divergent uh, Gauss is extremely high, and of course you have an intermediate zone, and you have a high Gauss meter reading at the center of the magnet, any Gauss meter will show that. This is the centripetal retain, returning point of the reciprocating precessional hyperboloid. Discovery, copyright, um, 11, 2014, Uncovering the Missing Secrets of Magnetism. Um, but what happens is that actually after I stoop over this for as little as 10 minutes, I'll actually get a hurt in my eyes. And human beings, like any other animal, like birds or whatnot, although we, we cannot see magnetism, they can. And uh, I actually know the phase shift, and this will be the first time in the first video of anybody that will actually tell you what birds and bees and certain insects with large amounts of cryptochromes in their eyes actually see. Since there is a red spectrum uh, rarefaction on the North Pole, this is the North Pole side of this magnet. This is the North Pole uh, centrifugal edge of high Gauss emission. What uh, animals see, of course, since the Earth's, uh, Earth's uh, magnetic orientation is that the Earth's magnetic North Pole is located in the geographic south pole of the earth that is why compasses of course no, no, uh, that are correctly uh, marked uh, north pole and south pole well, that's why a correct compass needle is actually pointing north that's because that's the south pole of the compass needle but the earth's uh, magnetic compass some people know this a lot of people don't that the earth's magnetic north pole is in the south geographic location of the earth i.e. antarctica and the north uh, magnetic north uh, the earth's magnetic south pole is located up at the north pole um, but the point being is that what birds and animals uh, see is that uh, they actually see a red shift towards the geographic south pole of the earth and they see a blue shift at the geographic north pole of the earth and they actually navigate by cryptochromic navigation and I'm actually able to see this and I was the first person on earth to discover this the phase shift of uh, magnetic polarity and uh, magnetism and uh, it also I'm gonna reveal those secrets in the fourth edition of my book uh, uncovering the missing secrets of magnetism why it so strongly affects biological growth and it is uh, as it uh, not only a light but also a temporal shift there is a uh, north pole uh, rarefaction and south pole compression and it is at a ratio of one to five as it necessarily must be simplex uh, field pressure mediation is no different than the old plumber's motto you know water rolls downhill it's the same thing with uh, field pressure mediation the extrapolation of north pole uh, polarity uh, rarefaction and south pole compression is nothing other than field pressure extrapolation it is real simplex dynamics no different than uh, fluid mechanics but uh, here you can actually see the centrifugal edge of the magnetism and of course looking edge on but anyway my point was is that humans have cryptochromes as well when uh, I actually experiment right now at the south pole over here and the north pole over here you go oh, you gotta be so careful with this magnet <laughs> 
And here you can see the dielectric inertial plane right in the center of the magnet. This white streak right here. That's the dielectric inertial plane separating out either pole. But I would actually get a soreness in my... Every time I stoop over this uh, magnet, it uh, doesn't matter if it's North Pole or South Pole, I'll actually get uh, pain. It's like a dull pain, like you've been out on a walking on a bright beach for many, many hours. You'll actually get like that dull thud pain in your eyeballs. I'm actually starting to feel it now. It's uh, I'm, I'm so used to it. Uh, I'm about three and a half feet away my eyeballs are from the centrifugal edge. By the way, um, you probably don't know this since you're not studied the magnetism heavily, but uh, as an example in any Gauss meter, uh, what's happening is magnetic reciprocation from the processional hyperboloid that defines a, a magnet, and that's my discovery, copyright 11-2014, um, is actually being emitted from the centrifugal edge right here, is actually coming out and of course reciprocating, but it's actually part of that is flowing into my eyeballs, so I'm in the line of fire of uh, magnetic reciprocation. That's It causes my eyes to hurt every time I actually do a magnetic experimentation over this large honker. Um, but what birds and insects see is like if they're navigating north, they'll actually see red rarefaction. And if they turn their head or their body, whatever, what way, they'll start to see less red and they'll start to see blue compression. They'll actually start to see blue light. And that is actually the Faraday effect in process from the cryptochromes that are in the... Uh, cellular tissue of the eyes of birds. People thought, well, birds can see magnetic fields. It's like, well, what do you mean specifically? That's a description, not an explanation. What are they actually seeing? Well, they're actually seeing that uh, one to five ratio uh, uh, um, extrapolation of magnetic uh, field pressure mediation uh, between North Pole and South Pole when uh, you can see it easily in the ferro cell and also I was the first person in the world I got a video on that from a few months ago I was the first person in the world to discover uh, that compression rarefaction differential spread and I developed a formula for it and I've got it in my third edition of the book but um, the point being is that I thought you would find that interesting that the human critters we, you know, a lot of people play with a, a powerful neodymium, a little so, small sucker like that, and, you know, they never notice anything, but uh, someone like me is actually stooped, and humans obviously cannot see magnetic uh, flux, uh, force, uh, flux force lines, but uh, the birds do, and they actually see that in the, uh, in the phase shift of the light. So if they're turning south, they're starting to see red light. If they're turning north, they're starting to see less red and more blue light. As the blue right uh, has higher dielectric capacitance, you're actually able to see that underneath the ferro cell. But humans can see it too. But you know, unless you're someone like me that's stooped over, you know, basically a thousand dollar magnet like this, that this magnet obviously you can't see anything. But this magnet is shooting out like a gigantic fountain at Caesar's Palace in Las Vegas, enormous enormous amounts of uh, magnetic force divergence. And even though humans have a low count of cryptochromes in their eyeballs, you can feel it. I mean, if you sit here to experiment, and it's bad enough your brain's exposed to that too, but if you sit here and experiment with it like I do, you'll actually feel that in your eyeballs. Another thing that also does, I wanted to mention on this, is that unlike caffeine, which obviously keeps you away, but gives you a hangover, if you actually, North Pole versus South Pole in this magnet, right now this is the North Pole, centrifugal edge is just shooting out, uh, uh, which is uh, shooting out uh, rarefaction uh, divergences. So I actually flip it over towards the South Pole. Oh my god, that sucker's heavy. It's uh, actually shooting out uh, compression, uh, blue spectrum compression, which is at a ratio of five versus the North Pole, which is a ratio of one. And what happens is if I actually stoop over the uh, South Pole, I noticed that after many days, many months of experimentation, that this will actually, I don't want to say a natural high, what it does is it, if taking no caffeine at all, what it does, it'll actually keep me awake for a couple days straight with no feelings or after effects uh, that like caffeine has where you, you feel tired or worn out. It actually uh, affects uh, uh, not only the cryptochromes in my eyes, but uh, actually uh, due to the compression 
shift, the compression uh, phase shift in the south pole of this magnet by experimenting in the south pole will actually keep me awake for two and a half days and I have absolutely no after effects at all of a feeling of loss of sleep and that's something nobody else has ever done any investigation on but you know the real question is obviously that's the case I mean how many people are actually doing endless hours of experimentation over a huge honker like this you know where you basically got an enormous fountain of uh, magnetic uh, force flux you know emanating and of course very few people are skilled or know anything about magnetism. Most people don't even know what magnetism is at all. Basically nobody does until I wrote the book on magnetism. Everybody thinks of magnetic attraction and magnetic repulsion, of course, which there is no such thing as magnetic attraction is merely dielectric voidance. The, uh, the notion of magnetic attraction dates all the way back to the ancient Greeks and earlier and it still exists in human consciousness. It is as subliminal as the sun rising in the east, but there is absolutely no such thing as magnetic attraction or magnetic repulsion. Everything is force and motion and uh, inertia and acceleration. We're talking about the phase shift dielectric voidance and is all uh, necessitated uh, extrapolation of uh, field pressure mediations. Anyway, a lot of that might have been too complicated or too boring to listen to, but the point is that uh, stooping over this big honker um, will actually cause a soreness in my eyes and uh, I told you why I'll be the first person to ever tell you why and what birds and insects actually see they're actually seeing red light towards the south geographic pole because that's where the, the earth's north magnetic uh, pole is is located in the south geographic of the earth and the, the earth's uh, South Magnetic Pole is located up at the North Pole. I mean, that's a fact, not, not a dispute, but something that most people find odd, but they shouldn't. They should kind of know that stuff from school, but you probably weren't taught that in school. But insects and animals and critters actually see blue light, blue spectrum shift. They actually see blue, bluer phase shift towards the North Geographic and red shifts towards the south of geographic and that is actually how they navigate and human beings actually have those cryptochromes in their eyeballs as well they don't have as many obviously but uh, I'll tell you what when you stoop over a big honker like this you will feel it and uh, I don't really recommend that to a lot of people that do I mean how many people have a you know basically a thousand dollar neodymium magnet sitting in front of them that they're experimenting with that has an enormous force divergences to cause uh, affect of uh, uh, tissue uh, um, tissue reactions in their eyeballs and so anyway that might have been boring but uh, some people might find it fascinating nevertheless the case yeah you gotta be careful around this this broad she is one dangerous bitch um, so thanks for watching and uh, I thought people out there interested in light would find this interesting because that's what critters and animals and birds see. They see blue shift and red shift and that's how they navigate due to magnetic phase shift uh, extrapolations at a ratio of 1 to 5 and uh, they're able to see that light as they navigate. Catch you later!